Republic of Lithuania has escalated beyond threats to the use of force. Soviet tanks and troops moved into Lithuania's capital, Vilnius, and took over two important locations. Here's ABC's Jim Laurie. The two assaults lasted only a few minutes. At the main newspaper printing plant, paratroopers stormed the building. They fired into the air and sprayed the plant with bullets. Several unarmed civilians were seriously wounded. One sobbing woman feared for her daughter trapped inside the printing house. It's Gorbachev, she told us. Now you see the man you gave the Nobel Prize to. People then turned out to taunt the soldiers. At Lithuania's National Guard headquarters, tanks and armored cars quickly surrounded the building. Again, gunfire. When we asked a Soviet tank commander why they had attacked, he said, we needed to, to take it on behalf of Moscow's defense ministry. Popular reaction was quick. Vilnius Radio called on people to rally around other key installations which might be taken. The television tower, the parliament. There they prepared meager defenses, water hoses, a few rifles, Molotov cocktails. President Landsbergis accuses Moscow of setting up a so-called Salvation Front to replace his government. It is still unclear whether today's events are the start of a major crackdown or simply one more step in Mikhail Gorbachev's year-long war of nerves. Gorbachev came here just a year ago today to plead with Lithuanians to give up their independence drive. Lithuanians now fear the worst, believing he seeks at last to crush their independence once and for all. Jim Laurie, ABC News, Vilnius, Lithuania. Soviet troops were also out in neighboring Latvia. A dozen armored cars and jeeps rode through the heart of Latvia's capital, Riga. Latvians fear the troops will break up a pro-independence demonstration which is planned for Sunday. Day for the press in the Soviet Union, Interfax, the only news wire service not controlled by the government or the Communist Party, was kicked out of its offices in Moscow. Interfax is looking for new ones. And a popular television program has been canceled. It was called Viewpoint. It was a mixture of political satire and anti-government commentary. When we come back, facing the facts at the auto show in Detroit.